Example one, lesson 62. Use a calculator to determine to five decimal places the square root of 18. I don't know what kind of calculator you guys have, but most of them have a square root button on it, so you type in square root of 18. Um, I put an in parentheses just because I, I like to finish things out. Uh, some calculators you type in 18 first, then hit the square root button, depending on your brand or whatever. But um, if you type in what you think is the square root of 18 on your calculator, you should see 4.24264068 or something along those lines, depending on how many decimal places your calculator rounds to. All right, so once you get your answer, 4.242640687, the job is then to round that to the number of decimal places. They might also say round to the nearest million, round to the nearest 10 million, round to the nearest 10,000. So know your, how to count decimal places. Tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, uh, billions and so on. So just starting at tens and working your way up. That's billions. Billions. I think that's what I said. You said billions. I'll tell you what. We'll watch the video afterwards and see if I said it right. I no, think I said I'll billions. All right. Anyway, four point two six two four two six four zero. So this is the fifth decimal place. That's the next digit after four, which is less than five, which means we just chop that off. So we're gonna get four point two four. 264 is the approximate square root of 18 rounded to five decimal places. Okay. Obviously, all you can do there is round correctly. Um, if you don't round correctly, you get the wrong answer. So do round correctly on those problems. Uh, as far as showing work, write the entire answer like that and then show me how you rounded it. That would be a good way of showing work on those problems. 